Welcome back to a, another video. Today we're going to be having a look at a powerful build with Arc Welders, which is one of the new Kilo structures in the Machine Age expansion, which gives you uh, mineral deposits on basically every orbital body in your solar system. So what we're going to combine that with, we're going to combine that with Astro Mining Drones, which gives you a mining station boost of plus 50% on all your... Uh, mining stations it also gives you a astro mining bay and astro mining hub on your star bases in lieu of the solar panel network however you do get uh, some negatives from the miners mineral miners minus two and energy technicians minus one and menial drone output is minus 50 percent so you do take a hit to your economy menial drone output which will mostly be your energy production so that's something we'll have to focus on more uh, which you have, you have lots of pops for anyway, because the way I'll show you this build, and you'll find more about that a little bit later. You're going to have plenty of pops for technicians and other things, which will not be an issue at all. Starbase capacity will be increased by 50%, meaning you can have more star bases in your empire. Your orbital station build cost will also be reduced by 50%, which greatly reduces the cost of building mining stations, research stations, and things like that. The rest of the build is really whatever you want it to be. I've just gone with rapid replicators, um, adaptive frames, because I think that's a, a pretty good trait to have. Upgrades your pops as uh, time progresses. Mass produced for the assembly pop speed. Propaganda machines, just for a bit of extra unity output and research assistant, because that's just a free pick. I just picked that one just because I felt like it. All right, let's just jump straight in and uh, I'll show you the, the build. If you enjoy the content that I make, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel. If you really enjoy lots of the content I'm making, consider becoming a YouTube member. It will really help my channel and help me to grow my channel. Plus it just helps motivation knowing that people enjoy the content that I make. Okay, here I've got my little empire. I have gone ahead and built four art furnaces, which is what you can have with the uh, art furnace. Four instead of three. And you start the technology to build more so you can get more up and running it pretty quickly if you focus on it now i have used uh, the console command instant build these so don't uh, worry about the years this is just to demonstrate what you can do it's not a, a, a full build playthrough i'll be doing one of them in the future so what we've got here is we've got our arc furnace which has been built over here now starting system and you can already see here our total production of minerals and alloys with a fully upgraded arc furnace is quite high in your home system it's already 69 alloys 144 minerals and 36 energy we are getting some nanites as well because i'm doing a nanite build the reason for this is because we start starbase with one astro mining bay which gives us a boost of 15% to mining station output. Now, the good thing about this is, is you can build six mining stations, uh, six uh, astro mining bays on a fully upgraded star base. So that gives you 30% for two, 60 for four, and 90% for all six. Then you can go ahead and your building slot and you can build the mining. hub, which gives you another mining station output of 10%. Now, because I've gone nanites, I have gone ahead and built the nanite harvester, which will give me uh, nanites on all, uh, basically orbital bodies, except for ones that have a research uh, output on them. So like this star here, that won't get any nanites in the future. But as every five year period goes by, you'll see a nanite uh, resource appear on all of these planets. And it will continue to grow every five years plus it gets the benefits of all of these uh, astro mining bays and your initial empire bonus of plus 50 percent mining station output as well so with the mining station output of 50 percent and with all these astro bays you can get up to 150 percent on top of your standard output now the only thing i'll mention here is this this is slightly inflated because I have got all the mining techs already. I have researched all the technologies. So there is, um, it was probably up by about uh, 50% at the moment. So it will be a bit lower earlier in the game until you get a few of those, yeah, the plus 10% mining station output techs. So I have got those fully researched. 
So let's go ahead and put in some of these and see how much it will affect the actual output by so you know what to expect. Let's go ahead and put in three. We'll see how that will work. Yeah, alloys increased to 75 and minerals up to 157 already. So that's 75 now. Let's go ahead and build the rest. And then let's go ahead and put in the Astro Mining Hub as well. Build job complete. You can see now in our starting system, we're up to 96 alloys, 201 minerals, even we've got uh, over four nanites, and that will continue to grow because I've only just started that. That will grow quite considerably. At 52 energy, and that's just from this starting system. You can see there how, how many resources we are getting. It's quite, quite crazy, really. All right, let's look at uh, another system. This system is quite good. This is one of our, this is the system that you, your second system, basically, where you, you get given as part of arc furnaces that you can um, build a nice uh, arc furnace on. And you can always tell because it's got uh, a gas giant and four moons. So when you find that system, you'll also get a little event as well, which will pop up and tell you once you've surveyed it that this is um, a special system. I built the arc furnace here on a molten world. Let's go ahead and add in all the bonuses. So we're getting 141 alloys here, six nanites, 217 minerals already. Let's go ahead and bump that up with all of our bonuses. See what that increases to. Build job complete. So 180 alloys, eight nanites, 277 minerals. It's just crazy one system so between those two systems we're producing nearly 300 alloys just a bit bit less now we've got our third arc furnace down here it's right in front of me let's go ahead and build everything here See how much this system increases by. We've constructed something game changing. And now up to 117 alloys, 176 minerals. You can see the crystals went up a little bit there too. Plus the nanites went up. And our fourth arc furnace is just up here. It's not the best system. It's not the biggest. I just put it in here just so I could uh, demonstrate a fourth arc furnace because that's what you can have. I'm sure once you... Um, if you put the time and effort into it, you, you really want to aim for systems with about 15 uh, 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 orbital bodies in there. And that's moons, planets, asteroids, so that you can get the best out of your arc furnace, really. That's sort of what you're aiming for, but depends how big of an empire you've got. Build job complete. Here we go, up to 75 alloys, 113 minerals and in the next patch as well there's going to be uh the update which shows uh, how many um orbital bodies you have in the system for a uh arc furnace as well as well as the habitats as well which is very good you can see with just four arc furnaces we're producing 468 alloys and i reckon you can get that easily over 500 with the right systems if you're uh uh if you plan it correctly so that's <laughs> so powerful that having that many alloys and you can get that up by about uh you can get four fully upgraded arc furnaces probably by about year 40. it's not not too difficult to do it maybe even a bit earlier so you can imagine having that much alloy output by that time it can make make you a pretty powerful little empire considering that's all space-based production meaning that you've got all that look at the mineral production just crazy that means you all those jobs that you spent on alloy production and mineral production can now go into producing more energy because you're going to need that extra uh, populations into energy production because of the uh, lowered menial drone output from that so that's going to be your main weakness that you're going to have to have extra energy worlds to cover for that so your pops will be diverted into that and then you divert it into extra research as well because you don't need um, an alloy world early really you've got 400 and 68 alloys you're not going to need that for some time you can probably go conquer someone else's alloy world to be honest go conquer some nearby AI or another player and take their alloy world so you don't even have to build one 
and then um, just upgrade it to whatever you need. Keep building it into an Echinopolis, or not Echinopolis, um, because you're a machine empire, but a machine uh, world because the output's been doubled. And that would be a very powerful empire build. So, and the good thing about this is you're going to get increasingly huge amounts of nanites from these uh, uh, mining deposits because each one of these will start to have nanites on them in the future and you'll just have insane amounts of nanite production they'll just get absolutely crazy with this build in um you know give it say uh, 50 years you'll be uh flying along now not to say you're going to have the nanites this early in year two you're not going to have that but you might have it by about year 30 or so depending on how strong a uni build you're playing we don't have much unity in this they'd have to invest populations in unity but this is just a demonstration to show how powerful the build with Astro uh, Mining Drones can be with that Civic pick with the combination of Arc Welders and just Salt Consciousness. And that's not even, a think of all the bonuses you're going to get with your leader production if you really focus on getting leaders that are going to increase the resource production of your empire. And you might have edicts as well that you want to turn on um, or mining subsidies that only affects uh, mining drones so that's not going to be uh, much impact but we might have something here we can use i'm not exactly sure probably not actually probably more for that nanites in the future because your nanites uh bonuses are quite nice the monthly energy credits plus 50 percent it's really nice your nanites monthly alloys plus 20 percent and you're easily going to get lots of these this this number in the future this is seven for months nothing and naval capacity plus 25%, you'll easily be able to keep them on uh, in the not too distant future with this type of build. It'll just be crazy the amount of resources that you generate. And you can probably get a few, uh, two of these systems, are probably not, I could probably get more, a better one than this one, 117, and definitely better than this one. So you could probably get up around that 150 alloys with a decent system. The biggest system I ever found, I think was 33 planetary bodies. So imagine having an arc furnace on that that would just be crazy. It'd probably have about, uh, well, probably another 100 alloys, probably be, uh, over 250 alloys per month if you manage to find a system like that. Now, the other thing you can do with the uh, Ascension perks, make sure you take Prosperity as well, because unlocking Prosperity gives you plus 20% mining station output, which really helps as well. There's another 20%. So don't neglect that. Um, and you guys can probably improve upon this build. This is just what I've thought of. And there's probably a whole heap of other things that you can do to increase mining station output uh, throughout the game. Or um, the individual, maybe for alloys and uh, nanites to boost their production. I'm not really sure. There's probably some uh, traits that we can put in the robots. Let me know. Give me some comments and some feedback as you guys probably have. Uh, a lot more information. You know, there's so many different builds and variables now in Solaris. It's, it is really hard to know everything. All right, guys. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button for me. Leave me some comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing some more uh, videos like this. If you've got some ideas on some builds that you'd like me to try out and, um, and make a video on, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Okay, bye for now. Thanks for watching.